The link for this video will be in the description. So I've been getting quite a few questions about the Galaxy S7 getting the Android Pie update. So I will give you all the knowledge that I've come up with as far as the S7 getting Android Pie. So this is five things to know about the Galaxy S7 Android Pie update. Okay, with Samsung's first Android Pie release immediate, owners of older devices like the Galaxy S7 and Galaxy S7 Edge are starting to think about the future. Samsung released on an Android Pie beta for the Galaxy S9 and Note 9 with official upgrades planned for January 2018. Beyond that, we know very little about Samsung's plans. Older devices like the Galaxy S8 and Galaxy Note 8 will make the move to Android Pie, but popular devices like the Galaxy S7 and Galaxy S7 Edge can stick around on Android Oreo. Samsung and its carrier partners haven't detailed their Android Pie plans in full, and that's left owners of older Galaxy phones and tablets wondering what will happen this fall and in 2019. Samsung Galaxy S7, Galaxy S7 Edge, and Galaxy S7 active owners want to know if the device will get upgraded to Pi when the update could arrive and what will happen to the Galaxy S7 if Samsung decides to keep the devices on Android Oreo. It could take months for Samsung to fill in the blank, so we want to take an early look at what you can expect if you own a Galaxy S7. Galaxy S7 Android 8.1 update. Before we get to Android 5, we want to address the questions we've been getting about the S7's Android Oreo update. A lot of S7, S7 Edge, and S7 Active users are curious if the devices will get upgraded to Android 8.1 Oreo, a new version of Oreo that debuted, debuted earlier this year on Samsung's Galaxy Note 9. As of right now, we expect all three Galaxy S7 models to stick around on Android Point. Oh, Oreo, and here's why. Samsung might be rolling out Android 8.1, but new version is only available on newer models like the Note 9 and Galaxy Tab S4. And phones and tablets that move from Android Nougat to Android Oreo for the first time. The company could surprise us, but we expect devices currently running Android 8.0 to stay on Android 8.0. Samsung Galaxy S7 Pi Beta. Samsung recently released an Android Pie Beta, but the beta is limited to the Galaxy S9 and Note 9 in select regions. Unless Samsung drastically changes the way it handles betas, we expect the Android Pie 1 UI beta to remain exclusive to these devices. Even if Samsung does decide to extend the Galaxy's S7 software support for another year, the devices probably won't get a beta. Galaxy S7 Pi update. Samsung typically keeps Galaxy phones and tablets updated with major Android software updates for two years before killing off support. The Galaxy S7 started on Android Marshmallow, but got bumped up to Android Nougat and Android Oreo. Unless Samsung decides to offer another year of software support, the Galaxy S7, S7 Edge, and S7 Active will stick around on Android Oreo. One of the advantages Apple's iPhone has over Galaxy devices is that it gets four plus years of continuous software support. For example, the company's iPhone 5S, a device that started on iOS 7, was recently upgraded to Apple's iOS 12 operating system. There's a chance Samsung decides to change its policy this year with Android Pie, but Galaxy S7 users should hold their breath. Galaxy S7 Pi release date. If Samsung decides to release Android Pie for the Galaxy S7, that's a huge if the official release isn't coming in 2018. Samsung's first official Android Pie updates are slated to hit the Galaxy S9, S9 Plus, and Galaxy Note 9 in January of next year. After that, the company will shift its focus to former flagships like the Galaxy S8, S8 Plus, Galaxy S8 Active, Galaxy Note 8 before turning its attention to mid-range devices and older models. The Galaxy S9, Note 9, S8, Galaxy Note 8, Galaxy Note 7, FE have all been certified running Android Pie with Galaxy S7, Galaxy S7 Edge certifications nowhere to be found. This doesn't rule out a 
Galaxy S7 Android Pie update out, but it means the release, if there's one, is long ways away. If a Galaxy S7 Android Pie update is in the cards, it will arrive weeks, maybe even months, after Android Pie touches down for newer Galaxy phones and tablets. If Samsung decides not to bring Pi to the Galaxy S7, software support won't stop. The Galaxy S7, Galaxy S7 Edge, and Active are still on Samsung's list for monthly security updates. These updates are typically focused on plugging up potentially exploits, but they sometimes bring bug fixes and new features as well. Once they're removed from that list, Samsung will continue to issue quarterly updates to the three devices, in other words, support likely won't end in 2019. You could expect the steady flow of software updates, likely based on Android 8.0 Oreo and 2019. You should also be able to root your Galaxy X7 and get most of the features from Pi and the new One UI. The S7 development community is still active and developers already ported Pi over to the Galaxy S7. If you haven't explored the world of rooting and custom ROMs, it might be a good idea to do so because it might be the only way to get Android Pi on your phone. So, trying new features before their officially release is fun, but your testing will help Samsung improve Pi's performance. For others, if you're sick and tired of dealing with Android problems on your devices, try the Android 9.0 beta on your phone. Your testing could help Samsung engineer squash bug performances and before the release of Pi to the Galaxy use in January. Porting bugs is, is extremely easy for your feedback. It only takes a few minutes and could have a huge impact on the quality. So, me personally, and you guys, is, is your opinion, is your choice. Uh, I try to update on phones every three years. Uh, some phones are good, like if you're getting a flagship phone, uh, FYI, like a Note, a Note will last you probably five years because they're gonna continue to push out. It has the software and the hardware for all the latest updates, especially the Android updates. Uh, I can understand the Galaxy S7 is not that far behind. Uh, it was a change, you know, when they brought out the S8. Uh, but the 7 was, I can understand, a complete beast and it costs a lot of money. We're talking like, who, who wants to keep paying uh, $900 to um, $1,000 for a phone? I completely understand. But there's a good chance that they still will, like they said, they haven't ruled it out, and they, you know, they only certify uh, all the Galaxy 8 series phones, basically, and all the nine phones. Uh, and we're talking, that's only like a two year they're going like two years back because it well not even that because the note only been out for like one year they're only going one year back as far as uh the oldest models of phones that will get android 9 but the 7 is not ruled out so like this video leave your comment then subscribe later